Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to order items on Sheen. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be new to Sheen and you're wondering, how do you start ordering your items? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Sheen app. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here in the main UI, what we need to do first is we need to make sure that we are currently logged in. Now in this case, at the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on the Meet tab. And usually at the top left, you should see a sign in or sign up button. In this case, go ahead and click on it for you to log in into your account or sign up into Sheen. Now once you've done that or once you have an account in Sheen, let's go ahead and go to Home Page. Now in the Home Page, you should be able to see recommended items in your Sheen app. Now, depending on your purchases or previous purchases, you'll be able to get different items here or different suggestions. But if you want to search for a specific item, you can go to category or go to the search bar at the top section of your screen. Like for example, we'll be searching for polos. So let's go ahead and click on the search bar. Just type in polo, press on enter. Now from here, it's going to search or give you suggestions or uh, items that you want to buy. So in this case, maybe I want to buy this first item here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to view the details for it. Now, the depending on the items, they have a different type of colors, sizes. Like for example, this one has uh, black, gray, brown, and navy blue. They also have the sizes here for small, medium, large, and extra large. Now if you want to check your size, just click on check my size here at the top right of the size section. And you should be able to see different details about the sizes itself. In this case, you should be able to enter your height as well as your weight, and they would actually give you a recommendation on what type of shirt that you should buy here. In this case, you should be also be able to see a different uh, information about it, like the return policy, COD policy, and a lot more. You also have the description here if you want to read it through it, and the size guide if you want to view how to get your proper sizing. Now, in this case, you also have the review section, which is something really important just to, just to make sure that you're getting the best out of your uh, specific purchase here. Now, for example, there's going to be a lot of reviews here, like 1,000 plus here. Now, if you want to view all the uh, reviews, you can go and just click on the view all option. Now, you have uh, different options to view it. Like, for example, if you want to get that like, quilt purchase, no smell, color difference, a lot more, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to sort this one, like, for example, to the most recent to all this, or if you want to filter it further, you could choose uh, how, what star, or what rating that they uh, actually got. Like, you also filter it by picture. Now, so let's just go back in here. Now, for example, we want to purchase this. Let's, in this case, let's go and choose our color. So, in this case, I'll be using black. And for example, I'm going to get large. Now from here, let's go and click on add to cart. Now it's going to add that into, uh, in our cart. And from here on, what we need to do is visit our cart. So at the top section, let's go and click on the cart. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose the products that we want to check out. In this case, you can go and click on the check icon or check circle next to the item itself for you to include it in your checkout. But if you want to include all the items on a specific shop, you can go ahead and click on the check circle next to the shop name itself so in order for you to select all the items within that store now once you've done that let's go and click on checkout now from here it's going to ask you to enter different details about yourself like for example your address your shipping method and your payment now in this case if you haven't added your address go ahead and just click on the address section or add address section and you should be able to enter your address in this case, the shipping method here, if it's by default, is going to be free for some users. So in this case, you'll be able to leverage that. Also, you have the payment methods here, which in this case, you'll be able to choose what payment method that you want to use. So for example, cash and delivery, Gcash or credit card, PayPal, GrabPay here. So the payment methods here would actually vary depending on where you're currently located. Now, in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to see a different details of it, like for example, retail tie, price, sub total, shipping fee, and a lot more. Also, if you want to apply vouchers or gift cards, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on gift card. Just enter the card number and the pin for it and click on apply. Now, for vouchers, you should be able to visit the voucher page here by clicking on it. In this case, you should be able to enter the voucher code here and just click on apply. And from here, you could also choose the available vouchers for this specific purchase. As you can see, I already got the 20% off here in this section. Now in this case, uh, what we need to do next is just basically review it. Now make sure that the items are correct here, the items that you'll be buying, the shipping fee, the shipping guarantee here, retail price here. And once you're sure, just hit on continue. 
And from here, all we need to do is we just need to proceed on the payment section. So if you've chosen, like for example, credit or debit card or Gcash, it would redirect you to another page. But in this case, we just need to complete the whole payment process. Again, it would depend on the uh, bank or the payment method that you've chosen on how you actually uh, pay, start paying for it. So in this case, let's just go back into Sheen. So for example, if we choose the option for like paying a via card, you need to enter your card details. Now, by the way, uh, as you can see, I already have my uh, item here. It, I already have it checked out. I just need to complete the payment method. So let's just go back into, our, into that page here. So for example, if you choose like credit or debit card here, you should be able to uh, basically just enter your card details. So that includes the card number, the expiry date and CVV. So once you've done that, you can just click on place order and you should be able to start or you should be able to pay for the product itself and you just need to wait and monitor the order itself. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.